Why? Uh. I, I, I don't... I, I don't understand the timing of this. So whatever was bugging David Price here, clearly he's taking shots at, at I don't know who called him soft, but what, whatever it is, oh, right? Man. And the stuff that he's dealt with, right. it was just a simple question about the line drive that he took. It was no, there was nothing, there was no drama there. He's been pitching well. He's yep. gotten rid of the carpal tunnel. He's pitched four really good starts in a row. Why? I, I have no idea, but you, you know, at a certain point, you need to grow up and you need to humble yourself and focus on one, staying healthy and two, competing for your ball club. Make it simple. I mean, he's having these little spats and in Boston and in the media, the pen is mightier than the sword. And you do, you want your, your club and you want your fans to be on your side because times are not always going to be good as you've seen in the bumps in the road he's already had. So he's gotten a fight with Eckersley on a plane that's been public. Now he's shooting shots at the media. And again, you can tell it's from the gut because really the question was he even about him being yeah. soft? So he's doing too much of listening to the, 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 the radio and the, the, the press clippings. He needs to just go out there and compete because he's a big part of his rotation. And if he plays well, they have a chance to win the World Series. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, he's pitched great four starts in a row. Now you want to pop off? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, man, like, I, I think that's the biggest thing. And, and, and I know David knows this, that you can get away with that stuff in Tampa. It's a smaller market. There's only a couple guys in that locker room covering the team. Right. But in a humongous media market full of people that go to work each and every day and, and grind to have tickets to go watch those guys play for a man that has a $200 million contract. $200 million. $200 million contract. For him to say that. Um, a lot I, of Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what he's trying to do, but we saw what he did last year when he got into the media and saw his yeah. numbers plummeted, right? So we're, we're going to see exactly what's going to happen right now. But go ahead. Keep fighting that media. He needs a no man. Keep he fighting that media. He needs in that locker room like, hey, calm down, man. Like, calm well, but that's, down, I think that's baby. the problem. I think he showed up in Boston down. and he established how he was going to act and nobody was going to tell him anything. Well, Pedroia's off that bench now. So let's see if we he can police see, that. Let's see Pedroia. He's we'll the see. captain. Let's see if he can pull him aside and say, yeah. hey, man, focus. We need you, man. And again, I agree with you. You're making a lot of money. No one's going to yeah. sympathize with you right now yeah. about that. I will tell you this. I've never seen anyone beat the media. No. I've never seen Ever. it. It's not going to work. He's got to he's got to change it. Come I, on, you know, come on Pricey. No you got need. this, bro. Come on now. Well, move on. So we'll see what kind of drama comes from that in Red Sox Nation. Just take me from the baseball etiquette perspective. Was that clean? or was that dirty? Okay, so I'm going to show you. Uh, just, I'm, 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 I'm actually going to get down here and show you what I think is the difference in between an illegal slide and a dirty slide. Okay. Because you'll read the rule later, okay? Anytime you get in trouble as a, as a slide, when your spikes start to elevate, that's when it is considered a dirty slide. Right. Correct, Train? Mm -hmm. When Rizzo came into the plate, whether he deviated from his line or not, he came across with a hook, right? So he just kind of hooked his back foot. You can see it in this picture right now. He kind of came here like this, right? right? That's not a dirty slide. It could be considered an illegal slide, but not a dirty slide. Coming from a father, like my father, Steve Switcher, who was a major league catcher for 10 years, right? The thing that I looked at that play when I saw Diaz, when that throw came from short, he did not clear himself right. far enough from the plate to get out of trouble. This is the major leagues, man. There's grown men running around out Coming here. Coming downhill. So I feel like in a situation like that, Diaz could have helped it out a little bit more. Because as a base runner and coming up in the game, you're always taught to get the catcher's back leg, right? Okay, so you don't think it's dirty. Before we get to the rule, how about you? If that's your catcher, what do you think about that? In the locker room, that's dirty. For one reason, he's got down late. So the attention was to deviate, make him deviate that throw. Mm -hmm. He hit his leg, and again, it's Diaz. If it's Posey, people would have been, or Molina, they would have been irate. Of course. So that's the problem I have with it. Now, yes, I do agree with you, Swish. He should have cleared himself a little more so he can not only get out of the way, but put more on the throw to get that double up. Of course. But in this situation, if you can't do that at second base, how come you can do that at a home plate? It's the same type of rule, same type of play. You're trying to break up a double play and a defenseless infielder. So well, it's a tough play, well, but I would, I, I, would, I would protect my guys. Rizzo, I'm sorry, I love Rizzo. I'm knocking him down the next day if I'm pitching. The, the, the send a message not only in their locker room, but in my locker room that I'm going to defend my guy regardless of what the rule is. But I think that's fair. And I, and I look, I, I think we all know Anthony Rizzo is one of the, one of the right. good guys in the league. He plays he's, hard. Yeah. He's not trying to hurt him. He's trying to break up a double play. Right. Of course. But the bottom line is they blew the call. Because if we take a look at the rule, the rule is, is plain and simple. And this doesn't matter, second base, home play, whatever. Here it is, rule... 6.01. If a runner does not engage on a bona fide slide and initiates contact with the fielder for the purpose of breaking up a double play, he should be called for interference 
clearly that's what Anthony Rizzo did. That should have absolutely been interference, been a double play, and that's it. They blew it. Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why it's an illegal slide. It's not a dirty slide. Right. right. He's that's not trying to hurt him. Right. right. So bottom He's line just trying is, to help his team. You're okay with the effort they're trying to I'm make okay a little play. That. I'm okay. He should with have that. been called a double play. It's a and you would have drilled him the next day. <laughs> it's a Draymond Green type of play. We love Rizzo, but he's the Draymond Green of their locker room. Right. He's gonna be the enforcer. He's gonna send the message. I love the play. And again, if I'm on the Cubs side, I like that because right. they end up scoring runs for them. But if I'm in the Pittsburgh side, I'm coming right, right. here, Swissy Swiss. I'm gonna send the message that you don't do that ever again to my. Well, Guess what? They play tomorrow. They play tomorrow. So we'll, uh, <laughs> well, also, we'll too, check it out. I mean, DS2 is talking about new school. We're, we live in the new school era. There's a difference between when Rizzo came up and now when Diaz comes up. It's, it's a totally game, different. That's game. the rule. That's the bottom line.